afternoon, everybody. Welcome along to uh, Macclesfield FC Mixler Channel once again. This uh, afternoon is an exciting one, a little break from league action as uh, Mac welcome National League Dorking Wanderers over here to theleasing.com in the fourth round of the FA Trophy. My name's Matt Todd, and I'm joined this afternoon by James Walker. Good afternoon, James. Afternoon, Matt. Afternoon, Siltman fans. Yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. So, Probably the biggest test we've had in terms of league opposition, other than you know, outside of the Cheshire Cup, um, since the reforms, with uh, Dorking Wanderers making a, the longest journey of any club to the Eastern Bloc Conference to reform as well. Well, that's a good one. It's slightly further away than Morpeth. Nice. So what are we talking? Uh, so 200 good, uh, miles? Yeah, a good 200 mile journey up here from uh, from Surrey, little little market town down there. Not something, uh, not a town that I know anything about. Yeah. Like there's many uh, many fans that would know a great amount about uh, about Dorking. Apparently famous for its chicken industry, poultry. Hence the badge. Hence the badge, yeah. The, uh, I like the it. On the badge, so no, definitely a good, te uh, good test today, as you say. And um, I remember earlier in the season, our, our victory against Buxton, you were absolutely loving that game. I was loving that game. That ball again is lofted towards the far post. Mendy will attack it. Mendy will head clear. Up and under from... Pibus towards the edge of the map box and Baker this time able to get his head to one. The ball will break for Curran. It's a good ball over the top from Curran. Owalabi now in behind the Dorking defence, advancing towards the goal. Owalabi with the shot. It's saved. Falls to Drummond and Drummond can't sort his feet out. And the ball is in the gloves of Mail. And how, James, has that not gone in? I am in absolute shock, Matt. I am astounded that we've not made that 1-0 there. It's going to be taken short this time. Where's it going to be left? No, it's taken short. It's the feet of Bobby Joe Taylor. He gets a cross in deep to the back post. Header comes in. It's a good header. And only just narrowly wide of Dylan Berry's right-hand post. Best sight on goal door could have had in this one so far. It was, yeah. There was a bit of an overload, actually, at the back post. Was it Hollis? Down there, right-hand side, up to Pryor. Mendy's more than up for the challenge. Clears long up to Curran. Keeps it in. Dummies it for Owalabi, and there's a chance for him to break down the left-hand side now. He's got space to run into, and Drummond in support. Great work from Owalabi. Can he square it into the box? Nearly comes off the line. And it's Goal. It's gone in. It's gone in. Yes. It's gone in. It's Macclesfield. One. Dorking nil. The ball must have just crossed over the line. Who do you think is claiming that one, Matt? Well, I've got to say, it was a fantastic break down the left-hand side from Owalabi again. Really good turn of pace because it looked like Gallagher was gaining ground on him. But uh, Oalabi kept going. He managed to sneak across across the six yard box. It definitely came off a Dorking shin. Off the post. Drummond was sniffing around again. And uh, as the goalkeeper and defender tried to claw it away from, from goal, the assistant referee down here to our right flagging furiously to indicate the ball was over the line. John Rooney takes short into Luke Duffy. Back to the player 1 2 here, doesn't it? It's chance for John Rooney to get a ball across the byline. Ball comes in from Curran, blocked, and it screws just wide off a Dorking man. Came off Pybus. Another Matt Corner now on the opposite side. That was that worked on. Lovely challenge there by Baker on Carter. And a long ball over the top now to try and find Owalabi. Oh, this mail comes running out of his goal. It's chance for Owalabi to get in, tries the challenge again. Can't quite get connection on his Drummond now. He turns the defender and wins the penalty. Matt did well to keep the uh, move alive there. It was Gallagher that brings down Drummond in the end there. Mayo came rushing out. Oalabi had a couple of chances to try and get the shot in on goal. Mishit it completely the first time round. Fell to Drummond, he was fouled in the box. All sixes and sevens for Dorking there, wasn't it? And I think a little bit for Mac as well, actually. He probably sort of put that away before the need for the penalty. No one had control, did they, throughout the entirety of that move? Olabi again though did cause a massive nuisance, never gave up and he's really the man who has forced this penalty and it's Alex Curran with it. I've got to say that's really poor decision making from the keeper male to come out for the first time to try and claim that. Completely misjudged the flight of the ball, wanted to try and header it clear, went straight over the top of him and it was a great opportunity for Olabi to get in behind. So we're going to see Alex Curran step up for this one, looking for his second in as many games after scoring against Matlock on Tuesday night. Potential 19th of the season. Curran runs up. Save on the rebound. Curran and he makes it 2 0. It was a poor save from the keeper, Mail. A poor penalty from Curran. Thankfully, manages to get it in from 
two or three yards on the rebound. And it's Macclesfield 2, Dorking Wanderers 0. Oh, you said it right there, James. It was a fortune favouring Alex Curran in the end. His penalty was not at all convincing, trying to find the bottom right corner. Near to the box at the moment. Paul Dawson's on the edge there, does well to step away from Carter. Plays a long ball into the channel, looking for Drummond. Drummond does just enough to get there, goes round the outside of the assistant referee. Knocks his man off. Drummond now into the area. Can he pull it square? He can. It's Pemberton and it's wide. Oh, what a chance it was. Trey Pemberton made a lung bursting run from right back. Just like Tuesday night. And unlike Tuesday night, he was unable to steer this one on target. There's a little bit of time here to choose what to do. Decides to carry the ball over halfway, Pemberton, round two players. Chips one over for Drummond. Drummond's in behind here, down the right-hand side. Drummond to Olabi in the air. Olabi with the header! And it's underneath Mayo. And Olabi has his goal that his performance deserves. Kane Drummond this time laid it across on a plate. Olabi stooped. Didn't get the best contact, but just enough pace on that ball to take it past Hale. And with 59 minutes gone here at the Leeson.com, it's Mac 3, Dorking nil. Oh, what a goal, Matt. What a goal. And it's just that, it's, it's, it speaks to that just absolute desire and that effort and hard work that Mac are putting in in this game. For Pemberton to keep that move alive in the first instance, play Drummond in, and it's a sumptuous delivery from Drummond, wasn't it, to Olabi? Rooney just complaining that... Dorking are not the 10 yards back as it might attempt to take a short corner. Instead, Rooney plays it across, looking for Dawson. Dawson with the header, and it's in! Paul Dawson unmarked at the back post. Stoops to conquer. Excellent corner again. John Rooney picked him out there. Purposeful delivery from Rooney. And Dawson able to, to ghost in, really, at the back post. No chance for Hale again. For Mayle again, sorry. And Matt Four, Dorking nil. Wow. It's an absolute embarrassment from a Dorking perspective there. They were all distracted with what was happening down by the, uh, the corner flag between Rooney and, and Brandon Lee. The ref blown it to, to go ahead, and it was a free header for Dawson at the back post. I mean, he couldn't miss, could he? They were all over the place. I mean... 4-0 to Mac. Here we go, James. Enjoy. Thank you very much, Matt. Yeah, let's hopefully we'll see this one out here. As I think Drew Baker's just been challenged off the ball there. I don't know what's happened there, whether... He's off, I think. Yeah, he is. is. Wow. Did you catch that, Matt? I can only assume it was an elbow that was flung at Drew Baker. Matt players aren't happy at all. Yeah, Drew Baker's yeah, making the suggestion there to the, to the referee and towards. But only recently substituted on Luke Moore. I mean, how many minutes on the pitch has he been on there? Second ball falls at Drummond. Back to Rooney now on the edge of the area. He's got Dawson square. Just checks back again. Does play it to Dawson now. Can go square again to... Luke Duffy, great ball inside, got a chance to get a shot. Yeah! Yeah! What a hit that is <laughs> from Luke Duffy. It's 5 0. Bacclesfield 5, Dorking Wanderers 0. And that was a lovely little place finish from Luke Duffy there from a well worked Matt move. Just look at Phil Barsley and Alex Bruce there buzzing. Matt Fanzira buzzing. Who knew we would have thought this, Matt? This is ridiculous. Now we're going to look to try and get across into the boxes with Lee on that left hand side but again Mac quite happy just to take the time and play around as Drummond is clipped Mac uh, ref plays on not giving chance for Dawson to try and get a shot away on the edge of the area driving towards the byline now and it's clipped that's got to be a penalty and it is a second penalty for the Silkman in this one Drummond oh, Drummond Dawson clipped on his way into the box and I think we've seen another Dawking yellow card there I can't quite tell who that was for Taking the time over this one here. I think we are going to see a, another Silkman change after the uh, penalty is taken. Ref blows his whistle. Right footed Oalabi steps up. It's saved again. Another save from Harrison Mayle from the uh, penalty spot. And I've got to say, that was a, a dreadful penalty from Alden Lee, who squares it on the edge of the box for Neil Kengney. How has Neil Kengney not scored? I mean, he's just not got his feet right there. It was a brilliant ball into the box. <laughs> Mac fans absolutely exasperated. It should have been eight or nine for Matt today, as you may have heard. Ref close for full time, puts Dorking Wanderers out of their misery. Macclesfield FC five, Dorking Wanderers nil. And maybe the best Siltman performance 
we've seen since the club have reformed. Dare I say it? I agree. Complete I agree. every single aspect of the performance today from Matt has been completely exemplary. They've controlled the game for the vast majority of that 90 minutes. And it's been a really easy win with some great goals. And as I say, it should have been more.